Keep here my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. And we ask ourselves, as a sheep, do I know the voice of the Lord? Do I know the voice of the Master? And when he calls, do I follow? Remember from Sunday, talking about the good uh, shepherd who talks, who cares for us, who loves us. And our response as a people of God, as a Christians, is number one, to listen to his voice, to obey his voice, and to follow him in trust. And uh, we have to follow him with a lot of uh, that our dedication. And so today, in following, Antioch became the first place where all uh, or they were first called Christians. Remember, in uh, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 8, says that uh, you will be my witnesses. When you are full of the Holy Spirit, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, the holy city. You will be my witnesses in Judea. You will be there in Samaria and all parts of the world. And we are sent to all parts of the world. We are sent to the holy ones. We are sent to those who do not know God. We are sent to those who are losing hope. And this sending, we have to have the power of the Holy Spirit. Then the number will increase. The, three, the two readings of today has got five things that we need to reflect upon. Number one is about the spread of the gospel. We say always in the Luo. Niki Marufo Miki Kitimango. Gimarufo Miki Kiwene Jachien. And these people were persecuted after they have seen Stephen has been stoned to death. Persecution is there. And then what do they do? They were scattered all over, dispatched all over. But as much as they were going, only one thing they carried with them, the word of God. Wherever they could go, they did not leave the word of God. That is why I said, We struggle to be Christians. We struggle to go. 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 We always remind you. Some of us went three years, four years. We struggle to go. We struggle to go. We struggle to go. We struggle to there, there. We could not lose hope. We could not lose hope. And that is the only weapon of a Christian, the word of God. Wherever we go, we have the word of God. However, much persecutions we are undergoing, let us never leave the word of God. That is the only weapon. And when we keep it, wherever we go, then we will find increment in our numbers. People will believe. That is why I said from the beginning, Christu ni maneno na matendo. Be a Christian is about the words and the actions. And my words and actions reflect that I'm a Christian. Number two is the inclusivity of Christians that we are united by the word of God. And this word of God is what all of us are spreading, inclusive. It embraces everyone. It does not choose my culture, my tribe, my people. It is about the whole world. Go to the whole world. You will be my witnesses to the whole world. And sometimes, this is why we thank the social media like Radio Maria, that when the word of God is shared, it's not only the Catholic who listens to it. Many people get encouragement from this social media, from the Radio Maria, and this teaching helps them to be united, to separate the Legio Maria, the raw, the SDA, the I don't know, the other witnesses, and all of us become one umbrella of Christ, that we are all united by one umbrella Christ himself. Number three is the role of encouragement. How do we encourage one another in faith? 
And today we are given a figure of Barnabas, which means the son of encouragement. The son of encouragement had got three qualities according to the reading of today. He was a good man. He was full of the Holy Spirit. And he was full of faith. And for us to encourage one another, we have to go for these qualities. Remember, when they want, they were, their disciples were choosing, who can replace Judas? They had to look for somebody who is good, who is full of faith, who is full of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit we received in our baptism, again we received it in our confirmation, that the Spirit may walk with us all over. So how do we encourage? Do we encourage as somebody with the Holy Spirit when we reach out to somebody who is losing hope, when we reach out to somebody who is undergoing depression, how do we encourage them? Do we give them the hope that they need? Do they, we give them hope that they may come back to their foot? And in the Christian way, every aspect, every persecution, every suffering is a stepping stone to the next. That God will never leave us alone. If one door is open, he's opening for us another window. When we close this door, closed by the devil, then God opens another window to help us move on. So only when we have faith. Number four, the impact of the discipleship. Their work followed them. They are called Christians in Antioch because they persisted. They never lost hope. They continued. They never lost hope in their life. They continued holding the faith. They continued walking together. A synodal way. You are my brother. I am your sister. Nobody is left down. Nobody is left out. All of us are walking together with the same mission to evangelize, to spread the good news of faith. Number five, God's sovereign plan. God had a plan for everything. God had a plan that the mission, the word, might reach even to Samaria. Then those who do not believe, those who have no faith, the word of God must reach them. My dear people of God, today the greatest thing is that we are Christians. How do we use our words? How do we walk at our actions and our words? going together. Some of us have got angelic words, but actions, they are doomed to die. Good words, they can quote for you the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but their actions does not go with what they quote. So today let us think about how is my action and how are my words and how do they help me? And the summary of it all is that God can use a negative situation to bring great goodness. That negative situation you are undergoing, God can use it to bring great goodness to your family, to our church, and the number will increase. That is why the Catholic Church will never fail, because God has made those situations that are bad to make them great, and all of us who are in it, the Holy Spirit is guiding us, and because the Holy Spirit is with us, we will never fail. Let us put our trust into the hands of God. We pray today for those who are in the families where persecutions are there, for those Christians who are undergoing persecutions, for those missionaries who are living in very hostile places where they cannot come out and spread the good news of the word of God, God may give them the spirit to be resilient, to be firm, to keep the faith. To receive Jesus Christ.